Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and we continue with our discussion topic, classification two. So today we are going to discuss the third class within the phylum Arthropoda. So previously we have discussed uh, class Crustacea, class Chilopoda, and today we are discussing class Diplopoda. Uh, class Diplopoda, here we have the millipedes as the examples that we have in this particular class. Uh, in terms of the characteristics, uh, is that uh, the millipedes have a cylindrical body. They have a cylindrical uh, body, body that is shaped like a tube or like a cylinder. Uh, they have three body parts. That is, there is a head, there is a short thorax a very short thorax and the trunk. So unlike the class Chilopoda that we saw earlier, uh, the Diplopoda, they have three body parts as opposed to Chilopoda which had two uh, body parts. Uh, number three, uh, they have a pair of short antennae and mandibles. And we say that mandibles are chewing mouth parts. They have chewing mouth parts. In terms of the segments, they have between nine. 100 segments and that is relatively a large number of segments. Each segment has two pairs of walking legs each segment has two pairs of walking legs except the first thoracic segment. So on that, we can illustrate that. So they have, uh, each segment has two pairs of walking legs, so two pairs on either side. Except the first thoracic segment. So the first thoracic segment does not have the two pairs like the, the others. They have many clustered simple eyes. So as we can be able to see, these are the legs. of the antennae and 
and then we have simple eyes. Number seven, in terms of the characteristics, they have no poison claws, so they don't have to paralyze any prey because they are herbivorous. They are herbivorous. So basically those are the, uh, some of the characteristics of class Diplopoda, the millipeds. They have a cylindrical body their body is shaped like a cylinder. They have three body parts. That is a head, as can be seen from the diagram, a very short thorax in between, and the trunk. And then we have, um, they have between nine and a hundred segments. Each segment has two pairs of walking legs, especially uh, except the first one except the first thoracic segment. So all the others have two pairs. Two pairs on either side, two pairs on this side, and two pairs on the other side. They have many clustered simple eyes, and they have no poison claws. So at that point, we can uh, look at the differences between millipeds and centipedes. It's also good to note that uh, uh, previously uh, the millipeds and uh, centipedes were classified together in a class that was traditionally called myriapods. But today they are put in different classes because there are a number of differences that exist between them. So we want to identify those differences as we have discussed them. Uh, the millipedes We've said that they have cylindrical bodies, but the centipedes, we say that they have they have dorsal ventrally, dorsal ventrally flattened bodies. <clears throat> uh, the millipedes, uh, the millipedes have two pairs of legs in each segment. The centipedes have one pair. In each segment. More differences. <coughs> the millipedes have no poison claws. The centipedes have poison claws. And basically those are the main 
differences that exist between the millipedes and the centipedes or the members of class Diplopoda and class Chilopoda. So we'll have an assignment. So number one in the assignment, state four differences between class Diplopoda and class Chilopoda. And two, state three unique characteristics of class Diplopoda. Three unique characteristics that are only found in class Diplopoda. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. <music>